Where did the journey begin? Ah, uh, because you don't just wake up one day and you're like, ah, I'm gonna go do an open mic. At what point did you feel like I'm funny? I can remember being 14 and people telling me I'd be a comedian. Um, I don't know if I thought I was funny at that point. You See, know I, mean? I never thought I was funny. I just knew I didn't want to work. Yeah, and like the one teacher I got along with, like he told me, he's like, you should have you considered being a comedian? You know. Well, see, that's cool. This yeah. is high school? Yeah, but I immediately wow. shot it down. Like, I'm so nervous. I hate standing in front of people that, like, I was like, no, there's no way. Like, I would love, in my heart, I'm like, oh, I'd love to do it. So anyway, that was, like, 18, and then I never did anything for years. So it was probably almost 10 years before anyone ever told me I should be a comedian again. Wow. Um, but, like, that's I mean, a big gap. When I finally got the balls to do it, like, a lot of it came out of, like, desperation. Like, my life was just at a point, like, I just got out of a pretty shitty relationship. Just living with this chick for a while and like we really connected on a humor level. You know, we'd watch comedy and she'd be like, you're funnier than these people. This girl who was encouraging you to do it, not the same girl from the bad breakup. Oh, uh, same, the same girl. Same yeah. girl. Yeah. Like if you get famous, you can thank her twice. Thanks yeah. for the encouragement. Thanks for being an asshole. <laughs> yeah, basically. Because both of them worked out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because then like once things got bad and we were like breaking up, and I told her, I'm like, oh, I think I'm gonna, you know, try being a comedian. And she's like, oh, I don't think you can do that. Because you're breaking up and she wants to hurt you. She's like, you're not gonna do it. Yeah. Well, yeah. great. That's all the motivation. Yeah. Like exactly. That. Like so, as much as I have mixed feelings about her, like I am thankful about that result of it. You know. Yeah. Well, was, I went. To uh, North Attleboro there was a little club called SOTP I remember being nervous I remember having a list of jokes and like the only joke I had any confidence in was the first one which completely fell flat so that's like great it's all downhill from yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you it's... got enough laughs that you were like okay that's that's enough to, to give me enough motivation to keep it going exactly like that that's all you need is that you get that little bit of positive reaction and you're hooked but... your best and worst memories of performing live? One was I was pretty early in, it was an open mic, and I just, like I'd bombed before, but I would at least get a laugh here or there, and this was the first time it was just like complete silence from just beginning like to end. Yeah, I do all my jokes. Did I you do your whole set or did you cut it short? <laughs> I just, I didn't know what to do, so I just kept going. You just, you just, did, yeah. you just were like, I gotta finish. And in my stupid head, it's like, oh, maybe the next joke will get him, yeah. <laughs> you know, like 30 times. Yeah. Yeah. And it more caught me off guard than anything, and I made the mistake of like... like don't you people know who I am? I'm hilarious. What <laughs> yeah. the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it wasn't quite that level, but yeah. Lately, I've just been getting more just kind of aggravated when no one's laughing, and then I, that ends up leading to some fun stuff. This woman would not shut up, so I actually brought her on stage with me. Oh, really? Ooh, so, don't let me drop my drawers! <laughs> Nobody wants to see that, I promise you. I'd probably say it was my first paid show, like my first real show. And uh, so I was super nervous, and then like people I knew outside of comedy were coming to see me, which was most of the nerves. But, but they hadn't heard your material or anything. Right, right, yeah. Wow, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, it was a lot of pressure, and like I ended up doing really, really well. Like, still one of my best sets, probably. So you just get started, your first paid gig, you're wicked nervous, and then you, you knock it out of the park. Yeah. And like, I tend to write in the living room. I can't sit and write. I, I tend to pace around my living room. Your yeah, comedy is like real quick, little dry <laughs> yeah. things. What do you think is like the biggest miscommunication in history? I think it was probably that morning that Hitler said he doesn't want any more juice. <laughs> the short jokes is because you know, it's cow being a coward. Like, I don't want to, I don't have the balls to do something <laughs> You're like, longer. at least, so, so in other words, if, if this joke doesn't work and it falls flat, at least we're on the next one real exactly. quick. I like your jokes about suicide. <laughs> yeah, suicide yeah. is always a funny topic. <laughs> I think if I did kill myself, like, I'd probably jump off a building. But part of me would be worried that, like, halfway down, I find out I love skydiving. <laughs> I don't condone suicide, but if you're gonna do it, like this is the time of year definitely to kill yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I even have a rule, like I would never kill myself in the winter, because I know it's so, like, in the summer I'm a pretty happy guy. I could kill myself or I could take a trip to Florida. Yeah, I guess I'll yeah, go to Florida. Just wait it out. <laughs> so I, I try to analyze myself, I just get a headache. I don't know what my style is, I don't really know. 
Yeah, well, that's what we're all trying to figure out, you know, what our voice is and our style. I mean, I have jokes now. It's like I keep trying different endings, and, like, some of them it's going on months, and, like, I can't find an ending. I don't have a lot of material, but I'd say, like, 95% of it I don't like. Obviously, now I hate the least of my material, but it's still, like, if I really broke it down, I probably don't even like half of it. I hate my act less than I used to. What's the ultimate goal? Um, I'll be happy and consider it ex myself a success if I can just get to the point where I'm doing stand-up full-time and, and I don't have a day media. job. Yeah. Yeah, like even if I'm making like poverty wages, like if I can survive, like I'm alright with that. Alright, so closing thoughts with Tyler. We learned a lot today. How do you feel about things? In general? <laughs> yeah, just in general. Uh, How do you feel about the stock market? <laughs> uh, pessimistic. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, no, I had fun. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Oh, uh, absolutely, man. No problem. I uh, I think it was cool. I think we're pretty much both going to be really famous now. Oh, yeah, for this. sure. With like the 30 views we might get. Yeah. Half of which will be my relatives. Yeah. Paparazzi's <laughs> already showing up. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> All right, rock on.